So everybody, I'm going to do something that's probably pretty dumb, and I'm going to make hot sauce. Uh, not having any idea of what I'm doing, by the way, so um, feel free to make comments making fun of what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to try this. Hopefully I won't poison myself. I'm going to take like all the bits and bobs and extra peppers and stuff that I've been given from Matt, and I'm going to try fermenting them and then blending them into a hot sauce. Let's see if I can do this without like, somehow macing myself. If I can manage to avoid that, I'll consider this a success. The problem with this is that some of the chilies that I have are frozen because basically what I've been doing is I've been saving the little bits of pepper, you know, cleaning them, putting them in the freezer. So some are frozen, some are cut up, and I have some still in here that are fresh. <laughs> I love that there's like, right now there are fire alarms and an ice cream truck happening at the same time. That is a true, that is like the soundtrack of New York City, guys. That is a beautiful thing. Uh, okay, so, what am I doing? First I should put some gloves on. Uh, I don't know if you can hear that music, but it's oddly disturbing. So, first go in the frozen peppers. I forgot to put in garlic, which usually you put at the bottom of the jar. Uh, I'm gonna put it in now, <laughs> and hopefully I didn't just mess it all up. Probably did. Here are my fresh peppers. Some of them are cut, some aren't. So I'm gonna just give them... <coughs> That's a bad sign that I'm coughing. <coughs> this thing is gonna be like the hottest thing in the world. But yeah, I'm gonna just cut everything up into little rings. cram in here. If I can fit it all in here, then uh, I will be pleased with myself. Uh, this is two cups of water. <coughs> oh god. And this is one tablespoon of salt. <coughs> oh, this is a bad idea. <laughs> There are just like vapors of heat coming off of this thing. <coughs> it's making me cough. So I'm going to hold my breath as I pour in the brine. <coughs> okay, I'm going to shove in the onion. Uh, okay. Get it. Whoa. Just to keep everything below the level of the brine. And I'm going to top it off. There we go. <clears throat> oh, man. <coughs> this is a great idea. And I'm just going to cover it lightly with this. <coughs> and put it towards the back there. Whew. That thing is, like, killing me. But, um, yeah, I <coughs> have it all in the jar with an onion on top to keep <coughs> to keep everything below the brine and uh, I'm gonna keep it in there for a week be back in a week see you guys it has been a week and this is good to go I uh, first I'm gonna put on a glove because this is gonna get pretty brutal First, I'm going to take out this onion, and that's going to get tossed. And the peppers on the inside, uh, I don't see any signs of mold or anything, so I think it's fine. They smell good, and uh, there's a lot of brine in here. I'm going to retain some of the brine, but the rest I'm going to um, filter out with this strainer here. looks pretty good. He's got plenty of salt on it, but what I'm going to do is add some vinegar. And what I see online is that you want to add like an equal weight of vinegar. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't have a scale or anything, so I'm going to kind of like eyeball it. I don't want to put in an 
equal amount of peppers, but by volume, but by weight, it's kind of, that's probably, probably fine. Also going to put in a little bit of sugar. Because why not? You could also put in spices, but uh, I'm not going to. Carefully pour it into this clean bottle. Now, according to what I've been seeing online, uh, one especially helpful YouTube channel was one called Chili Chump. Not a collaboration, not anything, but uh, that channel was super helpful in doing this. I mean, I'm kind of like eyeballing everything, and I'm doing it, I'm sure, very, very poorly. But uh, if you're interested in this, uh, check out his channel, because he does it properly. <laughs> and uh, was useful uh, getting an idea of how to do this. So uh, I'm going to take this, I'm going to put this in the fridge, and let it mellow out for a bit. The excess I put in this old uh, sriracha jar. Uh, I'm just going to take a little bit right now, and and try it. <laughs> I'm terrified. There's a lot of really, really hot peppers in here. So this is just a little bit. Holy God. Oh. Wow. That is really hot. Really, really hot. But pretty good. That's got a nice, um, very strong flavor to it, but the taste is good. It's very, very peppery, <laughs> very, very flavorful. It's giving like every kind of possible burn. I'm getting like a burn on the tongue, in the mouth, like a little bit in my throat. It's because we're, like we've talked about how different peppers give you like a different type of burn. There's a lot of peppers in there, hitting every possible kind of burn. It's got a nice tartness to it. The little bit of sugar in there is good. I can feel like a, it's like a little bit sweet. It's also very fruity. It reminds me a little bit of like tomatoes almost, like a little bit of like a savory, hearty tomato kind of flavor. It's burning my eye. Um, I don't even touch my eye, I don't know why, but... Um, and now that it's, like, um, settled down a little bit, my mouth is, uh, it's happy. Like, those are, that is a really good flavor. It's not just, like, liquid pain. There is, um, a very well-rounded, uh, pepper taste to it. So that's really good. I was worried that, like, those, all those conflicting chilies would, like, not work together. Nice and fresh tasting, too. Even though I use, like, frozen peppers, it doesn't taste, um, stale or anything. It's got a nice bright taste to it. Uh, I get a little bit of the garlic taste as well, and the garlic I used was like a, a good uh, cultivar that I got from like a farmer's market, so it's got like a nice like punch to it, even though I didn't put like a ton in, it's contributing like a nice flavor. I think the vinegar mellows it out, and if I put that in the fridge for a bit, that should mellow it out even more, so uh, hopefully I'm going to come back to this and it'll be even tastier. Hey Michael. Hello. <laughs> So what I have here for you is all the peppers that we've had as we've been eating them. I've been saving the scraps and I've been putting them in the freezer. And then I took all of them <laughs> and I made a hot sauce out of it. Okay. It's been mellowing in my fridge for the past couple of months, which I think helps the heat a little bit. But it has like all those peppers. So the little expensive ones are in here, all the strangely shaped ones, that ghost pepper that almost killed us. Okay. That's, that's in there. Okay. It's all in there. So this is your Frankenstein's creation, your Frankenstein yes. pepper. Yeah. All of those pieces yeah, blended okay. together. 
And we have some uh, tortilla chips that we're going to put this on just so we're not just like chugging hot sauce. That is actually really tasty. I really like that. It's really fruity. Mm -hmm. um, it's got like a little bit of like a apricot, peach kind of yeah. kind of flavor to it. Maybe a little mango-y. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, mango is what I was thinking. It does feel like a roadmap of the peppers that we ate before. Because does it? Kind of almost like I'm getting like a lot of stuff in there that I remember. There's like a sourness of like the grassia kind of peppers and then like the, the fruitiness mm -hmm. of the sweeter ones. You feel like you're being like dragged backwards through a, like time and being hit in the head with all the peppers that we've had in the past? Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, what would you give this on a rating of um, 1 to 10? Um, in our uh, scale that is to replace Scoville's? Right, in our scale that is to replace Scoville's. And we gave the ghost pepper a 10. We I'm gave sure a jalapeno a 2. So it's, it's right about middle, probably. There's heat, I think. Yeah. But it's, it's like a very pleasant kind of like, like glow. Yeah. Um, it's hot. It's much hotter than like Tabasco sauce. Yeah, it's better than Tabasco sauce. Jared, you made you made something better than Tabasco sauce. But if you're listening to Tabasco, all you need to do is take forty different peppers. Yep. Doesn't matter what they are. <laughs> then, Blend uh, those together, and that's the secret. Leave them to sit in Jared's fridge for months, apparently. My fridge only. M make it sound super appealing. You have to have a fridge that is full with uh, full of like exotic fruit. And that's going to like slowly infiltrate into the peppers. I would give this um, a solid 7 on the heat scale. It is like completely tolerable, like I could eat it, but it, it is hot. Like a teaspoon of that in a pot of chili, and you'd be feeling that heat. Really good. Yeah, just like <laughs> dipping, uh, dipping a chip in it is like a little intense. Would you agree on a 7? Or would you, as you... Definitely might be closer different. to a 6, then I feel like 7 would be... Um... Uh, you know, harder to tolerate than this, I would have thought. So let's give it a six and a half yeah. average between the two of us. So I think that's about it. So check out Michael's art and stuff. It's in the description below. And uh, thank you, Matt, for sending us all those peppers. This is Thanks, the Matt. <laughs> this is the last episode of the Matt collection. This is the amalgam of all of those peppers combined. And uh, Matt, really appreciate it. Uh, check out his music in the description below. I'll put a link to that. Uh, otherwise, guys, see you next time. Bye. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that video, guys. If you did, you may want to check out the video that is below me right now. That should be good, too. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, it is a huge help to my channel, so please do consider subscribing or clicking that bell. That does something, too. Not sure what it is. Also, check out the description below. There's all sorts of other things I have going on. I don't even know anymore. But, guys, I will see you next time. Take care.